Welcome here. Today we'll tell a tale of greatness, a rise from grass to stardom, an unpredictable success in the NFL. Not everybody enjoys a compelling underdog tale, but Brock Purdy did. The excitement of watching a person beat the odds is undeniable, and the reason so many people like sports is partly due to the unpredictable nature of underdogs. Sports wouldn't be nearly as entertaining if the team that was favored to win always won, or if the top players selected in the draft consistently turned out to be the best in the league. We're currently witnessing one of the greatest underdog stories in the NFL history, Brock Purdy. You still have a fair shot even if you're not the biggest NFL fan. We're going to break down Brock Purdy's whole journey because all all that this guy has gone through to get to where he is today is quite amazing. You may have heard of him in the last few weeks, but now is the time to learn more. Following the injuries of Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance, Purdy assumed the starting quarterback position in his first season in the NFL. His five starts in the regular season were all victories, and he was a major factor in the 49ers' 10-game winning streak that ended with a division title and a trip to the NFC Championship game. Purdy was born in Queen Creek, Arizona on December 27, 1999. He was a football player at Gilbert, Arizona Perry High School. He is the middle child of Sean and Carrie Purdy. For eight seasons, Sean played in minor league baseball. Whitney Purdy, Brock's elder sister, was a Southeastern University softball player. Later, his younger brother, Chuba Purdy, emerged as Perry's starting quarterback and was recruited by Florida State as a dual-threat quarterback. Purdy participated in flag football leagues as a quarterback from the age of 5 to 12. The quicker thinking needed to play flag football, where quarterbacks had seven seconds to get rid of the ball before plays were blown dead, was partly responsible for Purdy's success later in life. Purdy began his varsity football career as a junior for the newly established Perry High School in 2015. The Arizona Interscholastic Association AIA, altered the athletic regions in 2016, placing Perry in the 6A Division Premier Region, which is considered the sixth most difficult region in the nation. Purdy's success propelled Perry to the 6A Division AIA State Championship game in 2016 and 2017, when they lost to Chandler High School 65-28 and 48-42 respectively. During his time, Purdy began to establish himself as a football power in Arizona. Battling with Chandler Unified School District's more established powerhouse programs such as Chandler High 0-5, Hamilton 4-2, and Basha 2-1. Overall, Purdy had a 27-13 record at Perry. He was selected as Gatorade's Football Player of the Year and Arizona Republic's High School Football Player of the Year. Purdy was rated as a three-star talent by 247 sports. On February 7, 2018, he signed his letter of intent to commit to Iowa State University and enrolled in June of that year. In 2018, Purdy joined the Cyclones as a freshman, backing up Zeb Noland and Kyle Kempt. After Kempt was hurt and Noland was unable to perform, he was named to the starting lineup. He started eight games in all, going 146 out of 220 for 2,250 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions for a career-high passer rating of 169.9, sixth best in all of NCAA football, and leading the Cyclones to a 7-2 record. He also gained 308 yards and five scores through rushing. Purdy started all 13 games during his sophomore season in 2019, finishing with a 7-6 record. The year was highlighted by 435 yards and a school record of 510 yards, as well as three touchdowns against Louisiana Monroe, five passing and one rushing touchdown, and a close 42-41 loss to the then number nine Oklahoma Sooners, and 372 yards with three passing and one rushing touchdown and a win over Kansas. He passed for a touchdown in 12 consecutive games and completed 39 passes against a single team, both of which were Oklahoma State records. Purdy also led the Big 12 Conference in passing yards with 3,982 and finished third in total touchdowns, 27 of which were passing, breaking George Amundsen's 41-year-old school record of 24 total touchdowns. Purdy's less spectacular number came in 2020, his junior year, but the Cyclones, powered by running back Brees Hall, finished 9-3 tying the 2000 campaign for the best record in program history and ranked ninth nationally, their highest since 1895. Two weeks later, in a 42-6 victory against West Virginia, Purdy completed 20 of 23 throws for three touchdowns and ran for 38 yards and another touchdown. He also had three touchdowns and no picks in a 45-0 shutout of Kansas State. 
Purdy beat Oregon 34-17 in the Fiesta Bowl by passing and rushing for a score. Purdy and Hall again guided the Cyclones to a 7-6 record in his senior year of 2021, highlighted by 307 yards and two touchdowns in 24-21 victory over Oklahoma State, ranked 8th. Despite Purdy's 356 yards and three touchdowns versus Texas Tech, Iowa State was defeated in a shootout, 41-38. Iowa State, which came into the season ranked 7th, had a disappointing season, but Purdy topped the Big 12 once more with 3,188 yards and a 71.7% completion percentage. Purdy held 32 school records at the end of his career, including career throw attempts, completions, percentage, yards, and passing 81 and 100 touchdowns. He was a three-time All-Big 12 quarterback for Iowa State. His 14 games with 300 yards or more in throwing were almost three times as many as Brett Myers' previous school record of five. During Purdy's four years at Iowa State, the football team saw four straight winning seasons for the first time since 1923 to 1927. Brock Purdy, nicknamed Mr. Irrelevant, rose from nowhere to lead the San Francisco 49ers to the NFC Championship game. Purdy had shocked everyone with his ability to run the offense with poise, which is uncommon in rookie quarterbacks. Who is Mr. Irrelevant, and how has he achieved immediate success? Mr. Irrelevant is the moniker given to the last player selected in the NFL Draft. Paul Salata, a former USC receiver, initiated the tradition in 1976. Following the NFL Draft, Mr. Irrelevant and his family receive an invitation to Newport Beach, California where they spend a week enjoying Disneyland, a golf tournament, a regatta, a roast, and a ceremony where the Lozman Trophy is awarded to the draftee. The Lozman Trophy resembles the Heisman, but shows a player mishandling the football. Ryan Suckup, kicker, Michael Green, safety cornerback, Ty Crowder, linerback, Marty Moore, linebacker, and David Vobora, linebacker, are a few of the most well-known Mr. Irrelevant. The 49ers and Philadelphia Eagles squared off in the NFC Championship game on Sunday. For the 49ers, Niners, the game did not go as planned. On their opening possession of the game, Purdy's arm was hit while throwing, resulting in an elbow injury and kept him out of the majority of the game. Josh Johnson then entered the game and didn't seem well. He botched a crisp snap, giving the Eagles a 21-7 advantage at halftime. Johnson suffered a concussion in the third quarter, forcing the 49ers to put Purdy back into the game. Purdy was unable to throw when he returned in. He only tried two passes and after returning to the game, and both were screen passes, a around the line of scrimmage. Without a quarterback, the 49ers couldn't rely to pass the ball. The final score was 31 to seven. It is frustrating for all NFL fans that we did not get the anticipated spectacular NFC Championship game. Mr. Irrelevant has never been particularly successful in the league. Brock Purdy has reversed this trend. Since taking over as a starter for the 49ers, he's gone seven and zero including playoff victories over Seattle and Dallas. This season, he has a 65.9% completion rate, over 1,900 yards, and a passing rating of more than 107. He also boasts a 4-1 to one touchdown interception ratio, and even more amazingly, he not throw an interception in either playoff game. He has been able to do something that few rookie quarterbacks have ever done, take care of the ball. Perhaps more striking than his stats are the poise and veteran leadership that he demonstrates in the huddle. Trent Williams, the 49ers veteran and left tackle stated, You think he'd been playing the league for 15 years? He ain't no timid rookie feeling his way around. You think he's like Peyton Manning or something. Christian McAfee, the 49ers standout running back, added that there's a way that a lot of rookies are, and I think I was probably a little like myself. He wanted to be great. He didn't act like a novice. He doesn't act inexperienced in the huddle, and he plays with a serene assurance that is unusual, especially among rookie quarterbacks. Purdy dominates the huddle with a veteran presence that has helped the team overcome the loss of their first two quarterbacks to injury. Trey Lance appeared to be the 49ers quarterback of the future when the season began. That dream did not endure very long. Trey Lance shattered his fubula and tore both his deltoid, syndesmotic ligaments and his second game versus Seattle. His season came to an end instantly. Veteran Jimmy Garoppolo then took charge. He has been San Francisco's starting quarterback since 2017, after he was traded from New England. He played 10 games and led the 49ers to a 7-4 record before breaking his foot in a game against the Miami Dolphins. That's when Purdy had his chance. The Dolphins threw everything they could at him. Throwing blitz after blitz, Purdy stood firm, completing 25 out of 37 throws, including two touchdowns and one interception. Since he arrived, all he has done is put points on the board. 
The 49ers have scored more than 30 points in all but three games, and he has thrown multiple touchdown passes in all but two of them. It's obvious that he's not a liability, but he's taken this offense to new heights. Brock Purdy has never been given anything. He battled Mono in a close call with a thorn, defied expectations throughout his time at Iowa State, conquered the chances of being drafted as Mr. Irrelevant. Finally, he led the San Francisco 49ers further than anyone thought before being forced to leave the game due to a bizarre incident. It remains to be seen whether he is the 49ers' future quarterback, but he deserves to be respected as an NFL quarterback. Against all odds, Brock Purdy has emerged as one of the leading candidates for NFL MVP. Everyone should delight in his Cinderella story, as he was selected last in the draft in 2022, earning the famed nickname Mr. Irrelevant. But Purdy is far from insignificant, and some of his stats, since taking over the starting job last year, are quite impressive. It reminds you of Tom Brady, a sixth-round draft pick who went on to have a successful NFL career. You think Brock Purdy still has more to offer? Let us know in the comments section and stay in touch for more interesting NFL updates. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.